Break off. Well, it finally happened. I got stuck for my first time. I've been out here a year and two months and I've gone through my share of washes that I thought I was gonna like tip over and fall and now I got stuck. And I did what I always do. I panicked and hyperventilated and ran for help. From I'm out here at the women's RTR site a little early Thank God there was a couple women that came and calmed me down. And then I have roadside assistance, very important. I have coach net. This is the third time I'm using them and they come quick and they're, they're just fantastic. I've had two blowouts. I haven't told you those stories yet. And now I'm stuck. I'm gonna show you what I did before they pull it out. So here's, I'm sorry for the, the bumpiness. I don't have a gimbal and we're just doing this on the phone. But look, this tire is like practically off the is ground. Your, is your key in it? My key. Yeah, the dogs are in it, so that's the only thing I... <laughs> yeah. I need to start it up and put it in there. Yeah, the keys are right in the middle. Don't look, that's my, that's my high security. That's where I keep my keys so I can leave quickly. <laughs> okay, so back to this. All right, so look at this tire. Like barely touching and then Here's where I got caught. Look at this. Totally stuck in the ground. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're already moving. I can't show you. Look at look at what happened. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is fast. Look, nothing's dragging. Of course I gotta go pick up all that and put it back. Oh my god. This is like nothing for them. I learned today that my RV empty weighs 13,000 pounds. I, of course, just got out here, so I've got full water, full gas, full propane. So this thing couldn't be heavier. This is my friend. I've named him Captain Kirk. Kirk, and he works for Parker. Tell me who you work for. Parker Tony. Johnny. Parker Johnny Tony. Tony. The They're awesome. So. Can you give us a little public service announcement of what I should have done to have avoided this? Just not go in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> but you were talking to me about the sand. Tell me. Oh, the sand gets all real soft in the center of the wash because that's where it washes out. Okay, so even though it looked rocky, bad idea because right under the rock, it's lots of sand, yeah. and that's because it's a wash and because it gets water. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. No problem. Yes. Thank you, you guys. All right. So I'm gonna live to get myself stuck in another wash. No, just kidding, not gonna do that, not gonna do that. Okay, talk to you later.